Hello everybody, welcome to another Vision OS tutorial. Here in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to apply rotation and magnification to our entities. As you can see here, we could expand and rotate at the same time. We could drag and we can tap it. Now let's okay, check it let's out. start with a brand new project. Go to new and create a new project. We're going to create a new Vision OS project. We're going to call this spatial gesture volumes video and here we initiate a scene of volume to make this easy for us and we have no immersive space hit next and drop it into a folder that you would like what we have here is a very simple entity where we can click the item spear and it enlarges and shrinks as you can see currently we cannot drag it nor in, uh, magnify uh, with um, in, in terms of scale nor can we rotate now let's add those first. We're gonna head over to developerapple.com and go to transforming reality kit entities using gestures. This gives us a build reality kit component to support standard vision OS gestures on any entity. So first things first, click that link in the YouTube video description below and download this file. Now open up the file you just downloaded. It's called entity gestures. Hit the run button and you will see in the simulator we will have this very fancy UI where we can uh, manipulate these objects. We can drag, scale, rotate. We're gonna use these components in our file. Now have both your entity gestures project open and your spatial gesture volume video open and move the components and extensions into ReallyKit content. This is in, Re in ReallyKit content, sources, ReallyKit content, and just drop it in. With that, we are ready to register these components and make sure that we can use these components for our entity. So first off, let's register those components for our project. Similar to the Entity Gesture app, we're going to register the gesture components from our Real Reality Kit content to make them available in our project. Now let's drop that in. First, grab the Import Reality Kit content and drop it in below to get the reality kit components, kit content components. Then we're just gonna register those components right below. Next, you will use the install gesture function right below the uh, reality view, view update. Now, let's just add that in, dot install gestures, and we have all the gestures available. However, one last thing we need to do is head into reality kit content and update the components that this particular object has. Now click your sphere component and hit add component. Here you'll see a gesture component that is now available to you. Here we have several gesture components. We can drag, pivot on drag, preserve orientation on pivot drag, and can scale and can rotate. Let's turn pivot on drag and preserve orientation on pivot drag off. Save the file and head back over to your Xcode project. Now, when you run the project, you will see that we can magnify it, we can rotate it, we can do whatever we want, um, like tap it, expand it, ro move it, and rotate it. And we're done. And That's with that, it. we're ready to learn more about Vision OS and how to develop for it. Next, we're gonna develop some tab views and ornaments for our windows. And if you're looking forward to that, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.